This is Daisy, and I've just spawned in. Overcooked on the bottom, crispy as fuck, and it looks like Gandhi's flip flop. The four main food groups that you can cook are meat, mushrooms, vegetables, and fruit. The first method for cooking food is boiling. For this, you're going to need a cooking pot and some type of heat source. In this example, I'm actually using a gas stove and canister, but you could use like a fireplace if you wanted to build one. So the first thing we want to do is actually pour water into the pot. Then we want to turn on the stove and then place the pot right on top. So at this point you can grab any of the foods mentioned in the four groups and add them to the pot. So you should hear a boiling sound and then you'll see smoke start to rise from the pot. I like to watch the food carefully as it's boiling and if you actually hover over each item you'll see that there's multiple status icons. So here we can see that since we're boiling the food is drenched. You know your food is done when you see the status change to boiled and also you're going to see that the food will now look cooked instead of raw that's probably the easiest way to actually tell. The second method for cooking is baking your food. To do this, you want to insert fat into the pan instead of water, and then you can just place it on the stove like before. It's worth noting that baking food gives much more nutrition than boiling. Similar to before, when the food is done, it'll change colors, and you'll also see a baked status which indicates that the food is done cooking. So here you can see I have a couple items in the pot, and I'm just going to try cooking them on the stove without fat or water. And as you can see, this results in the food being burnt, and you're not going to be able to eat these. Probably the simplest and most common way to cook food is using the campfire. Basically you can just grab a long stick, attach food to it, and then go sit by the fire. The downside to this is that you can only cook one item at a time. I also like that there's a progress bar which shows you how close you are to finishing your food. That's really helpful. Although we aren't baking, when you do cook food using this method, it will say that it's baked at the end, but basically that's going to tell you that the food is done. There's actually some cool upgrades you can add to the campfire. First, you can attach 8 large stones, which will create a stone ring around the fireplace. After attaching these stones, you're going to be given the option to build a stone oven. This is actually a great upgrade because now you can use the pot with the campfire. In order to get stones, you're going to have to mine rocks with a pickaxe. If you're having trouble finding stones and you can't make a stone oven, you can search for a cooking tripod which will allow you to attach the cooking pot to a regular campfire. Some houses have fireplaces that you can cook in and many people don't use them. If you craft a campfire, you can attach it to the fireplace and that's going to allow you to cook with a cooking pot. The only downside to this is that the smoke coming out of the house is super visible, even from afar, so this can be really dangerous. Another cool thing you can craft is a fire barrel. All you need to do is take a knife and use it with a regular oil barrel. You can then add fuel, close the lid, and then attach the cooking pot on top. Older DayZ players will remember that there were other cooking and hunting items such as fishing rods and bows, uh, but since we have so many new players from console, I thought I'd show you some of the items that might hopefully be introduced to the game one day. So previous items that were actually removed are like improvised fishing rods, fish traps, fish nets, mackerel, sardines, carp, we had various bows. We had bolts, quivers, arrows. I really think that this game has amazing graphics and it has an amazing atmosphere. And just imagine what the game would be like if we had more of these survival options. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful in some way. Uh, thank you everyone for subscribing, liking, and especially commenting. I enjoy reading all your comments and I try to respond to all of them. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.